going to make the function continuous. So in this problem, that's exactly what we are doing, or that's exactly what we're trying to do. Find the value a. You're going to want to write this down so you know what you're looking for. Find the function a that makes the value function discon makes the function continuous. Discontinuous, continuous. Okay. Now, we know the functions change at 1, correct? We know at 1, these two functions change. We don't know how they change, but we know that something, something is going on. They are going to change. Right now, for whatever value of a, they could be discontinuous. But if we can find the right a, we can marry them together, right? And that's what we want to do. We want to find the right a that connects them. And again, what is the x value when they're connected? What is the x value? 1. One. All right. So we want the graphs, we want these points to equal each other, correct? Equal. Equality. Hmm, we've dealt a lot with equality. We have two functions. Oh, or two equations. We set the two equations equal to each other because we want them to equal one another. We set them equal to each other. We have one variable we're solving for, and we have one equation. For every variable, we need an equation. We have one variable, one equation. We're looking good. But you might say, well, then what do we do with the x's? Well, remember, the, we already know the value of x when they get together. The value of x is 1. So we're going to replace x with 1, because that's where they're going to come together. And now we have an equation we can solve for a. So two, uh, so therefore that becomes 1 equals negative 3 plus a plus, plus negative 3 plus negative 3. a is equal to 4. And now, if you were to graph these, if you guys were to do this problem, and I was going to say, hey, take this and graph this, guess what you now have? You now have a continuous function like your homework was, right? So that's what, that was the purpose of that. That's what we did. Okay? All right.